This is an AC compressor I just replaced uh, in my sister-in-law's car. And I'll show you, there's almost no resistance to this and it wasn't building pressure. So I replaced it in the dryer and the expansion valve and all that jazz, you know. But I'll try and take this apart and see what's going on on the inside. The clutch was working fine. I mean, there's no issues with that. So <clears throat> it's really just the internals. It wasn't anything else, but you also you can probably imagine it's pretty hard to replace the clutch on these things uh, while it's still in the vehicle. Pretty. Scroll compressor. Is <clears throat> a this is supposed to be a seal phenolic yeah it looks like there's a uh, it's supposed to be a phenolic seal in here oh and uh, check out that there we go there's our problem that's not from me wasn't from me taking it apart anyway and then more damage right here on this ledge this groove ring I'm not sure if that's supposed to be full of stuff or if that's more like a phenolic type seal that keeps it from uh, or helps the mating surfaces but you can see it got kind of hot in there that discoloration so this is an oil absorbent mat I'm not worried about getting that crap everywhere, it's not that big a deal. How to get a real wrench out to do this part. Great. Make me work for it. I'm kind of curious what's back there though, so. That's just a little cap for the, looks like a vent. That's.
Impact wrench. These have O-rings in them. There we go. Backside cavity. That is a heavy spring. Oh, it's just backing up a uh, the discharge valve. It's a reed valve. Yep, there's a uh, reed valve under there. I'm sure most of this uh, nice metallic lubricant is from, where did it go? This uh, missing chunk of stuff right here. So something went through here, didn't like it. bearings st still feel good it's just that but anyway there we go breakdown of a failed car AC compressor